everybody, it's Sam Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a inside out card. That's what I'm calling this. So from the front, it's very plain. The whole point is that this is not going to then be seen because what you're going to do is the person you'll give it to, it fits in a five by seven envelope. So you can see that fits in perfectly. They will open it up and then the whole thing turns around. So it's inside is now out and I've made this Happy New Year card and I adore this. I adore Sparkle and I just think the Dovecraft holographic cardstock which you can see there looks so fun and works really well for this Happy New Year card and then it just stands up like a normal card. There we go. And it, it does work. The key to this is making sure your card doesn't crack and I'm going to show you how to do that. You've got plenty of room on the back to write your message. If you wanted to you could write something else, you know, repeat these squares here. I have used again, these are the first edition number dies. These are the Simply Creative Champagne. That's the Simply Creative Balloon dies and then oh, these are also the first edition um, small letter dies. So it's just super fun. And then the papers I've used here, these are pearlescent papers with the feathers. And this is from the Mariposa collection, which I'll show you in a moment. And it's just so shiny. And the nice thing about this is when you walk past it, it will you'll get that kind of look as you walk past. So it's always gonna have a shine, different light hits it. It's just really, really fun card. But like I said, it does stand up just like a normal top folding card. And then the whole thing just closes up. A little bit of bulk there where you've got the fold, but nothing too bad. Okay, so let's crack on and make it. So I'm just going to fold that one back up and pop it in there just to keep it protected. So like I said, that's using the Mariposa. So if I bring this over here, I'll show you that holographic here. Look, you can just see, look at the different rainbow colours that you get reflected off the light there. And um, this is 10 sheets. Um, it's really good value for money. It's really strong as well. It's 210 GSM. Um, and yeah, I will share all the links to that in my blog. And then this is all you need. So I've gone ahead, as always, done lots of bits and pieces. So I'll talk you through all the sizes for those in a minute. I've already gone and done my Happy New Year. Just die cut those. And I've just layered them on a darker purple. And can you see just behind, if I put it on my hand there, just behind the per the silver is that purple, so it gives it just a little bit of a frame. So actually, they've got like a shadow, you see? So just a little tip there, if you just want to lift them off a little bit, that's what I've done there. So that says Happy New Year. I've also got my 2019, the balloons and the champagne. That's already all been die cut in that mirrored cardstock. Okay, so for the main card base, you want a pre-made 5 by 7 card. Um, or make it yourself. So if you've got pre-made, it may crack because that would have been factory made. Whereas if you do it yourself, it's a bit easier. So this is a piece of 10 by seven cardstock. And then all you're gonna do is score at halfway. You wanna do it on both sides. So you're gonna score at five and then flip it and five again. And you may want to do that again. So again, I'm just going to show you. I mean, I've done this a few times. You're just weakening the fibres. You're squashing them together. Um, you know, don't fold it without burnishing. Um, sorry, don't fold it without scoring because that's when it will crack. But now you can obviously burnish it on one side and then fold it over and burnish it on the other side. And you just don't want any cracking. See, that's nice and smooth. There's no cracking at all. Because that's basically now like a hinge. It's going to fold both ways. Okay, so that's what you need for that piece. Then your mats and layers. So this is again, I've already done that one ready. So I'll talk you through those sizes. So this piece here is for the front of the card. So this is just to decorate it, just so it looks like, you know, you can obviously keep it completely plain if you want, but I've just gone and put that on there. That piece there measures four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So I've just dropped down by a quarter of an inch there. Then these pieces are to go inside on both of the side panels that fall down. So my holographic mirrored cardstock here is four and three eighths of an inch by six and three quarters. You'll need two pieces of that size. And then you'll want two pieces of four and one eighth of an inch by six and a half. And they're going to layer on top like so. And you can see there, I've already done that one. And again, you just get that really nice frame. And you can go ahead and stick that one on the front of your 
card. Obviously this is a landscape top folding, so if you've got a directional paper, that's kind of directional, I think that's the way it's meant to be, then you want to make sure it's up that way when you stick it down. Okay, those pieces. And then for the actual mechanism, I guess, the piece in the middle that pops up, this is a piece of six by six and three quarters. So what you want to do is along the six inch side is you're going to score at half an inch, three inches and five and a half. Okay, then fold it in half and just burnish it with your fingers for the minute and then pop it in so you've got the folded end at the top of your scoreboard. Okay, so mine opens like that and pop that in and then you're going to score at one and a half just down to the half inch score line. So don't go to the very bottom, just to that score line. So that's at half an inch. Then you're going to do, sorry, that was at one and a half inches. Then you're going to do one and three quarters of an inch. Okay, so you're just creating a little quarter inch little kind of strip there. Then the next score line is going to be at three and a quarter. And then three and a half. And then the last ones are going to be at five and at five and a quarter. Okay, so if I bring that up, we can hopefully there, you can see. So there's that half an inch one running down here, and then coming down is these score lines. See, they all only just go to that score line, and each one of these, you should have three, and they will be a quarter of an inch. We're actually now going to cut them out coming in from this folded side here. So you don't need to score on both sides. It's probably gone through. You can see I've got a slight impression on the other side there. But that's what we need. So we'll cut that in a second. Before I get rid of the scoreboard, you then need these pieces and they are going to decorate those panels that pop up. So the top, the mirrored cardstock, the larger piece is one and a half by two and three eighths. And then the purple that I've got on top of that is one and one eighth of an inch by two and one eighth. And you want four of each size. Obviously it's entirely up to you how you want to decorate it and what cardstock you want to use. So that's all the scoring and that's all the measurements that we need. So now we can do some cutting. So with this piece here, I'm going to grab my snips and with the folded side facing you and with all these score lines facing you, you're going to cut. So first of all, here, I'm going to cut down that one. Keep your cardstock, try and really pinch it together so it doesn't move because you are cutting two at the same time. And you can see that I've just cut down that first one just right up to that score line. Next we're going to cut down the next score line. So we're going to cut out this tiny little quarter inch strip like so. So now you can see this is becoming free. And then it's entirely up to you. What I'm going to do is I like to go along and do all of them like that. So then go along to the next two here. So this is the middle ones and I'm just going to cut them. I'm kind of cutting away the score lines. So I'm cutting to the left and right of each one just so it gives you a bit more of a finished look. So that's that one now. And then go to the very end one. So like so. Then you can go in now if you want and kind of fold that back and cut across. But what I prefer to do is open the whole thing up and with my metal ruler and my cutting knife, you just get a bit more of a, just a cleaner finish. You're just going to cut that tiny quarter inch piece. So just join it across to the other one. So that one, try and get my shadow out here. Okay, so now look, can you see they just all pop out like so, and then just rotate and just cut that the same on the other side. Okay, so now they should all come out. And I just, for me, that just gives me a really nice clean kind of finish. So now fold it back in half and it should look like that. These score lines here, you just want to fold up. Oh, like so. So that is the shape. And you can see now how that's going to look when we pop it into the card. So next, what we need to do is grab the these pieces and your decoration. This is much easier to decorate flat, okay? So fold it out flat, decide whether you want this to be your front or that to be your front. So I'm really not bothered at all, but I'll do this one. And then the, each of these are gonna sit and they give you a very, very small frame. So you can see the white there I get. It's li literally like it's 1 16th of an inch all the way around, it's just very small. Okay, but I'm gonna go, I've already put some double-sided tape on the back of these, so I'm gonna go and get those ones all stuck down. 
Okay, so you can see now those are all stuck. Okay, next you want to decorate it. So obviously I've gone ahead and already done these ones here. So I've got my 2019, so they are going to stick like so. And then I've got my champagne glass there and bottle. And then I'm going to have the balloon. I'm going to do it the same because they are going to two separate people. But that's how I'm going to stick that down. Now, I did run through, I always forget, but when I made the first card, I ran these all through using some double-sided sticky um, sheets. So you basically stick on the holographic paper, you'd stick it on the underside, and you put your die on top, run it through, and then basically you'd peel off the backing and you'd have a sticker. I forgot, but another quick tip that I've done for many, many years is pop your glue on the back of your hand, like so, and you only need a tiny, tiny bit. So all I'm doing is just very carefully just tapping it down and if you're working with mirrored cardstock if you're anything like my mum she loves it but she hates it because she always gets smudge marks from the glue which is why it's best to use the double-sided sheets but if you haven't got them let the glue completely dry once it dries completely put a very tiny bit of surgical spirit on a cloth and you can wipe over the mirrored cardstock but dab it you don't want it to really go on your card although it does dry clear and dry or Put a, just get a little um, piece of tissue or a rag and just very carefully buff it and it will come off eventually. Okay, so there are ways to get rid of any of those kind of markings. And then just literally just dab it very carefully and they get stuck down and I've got no smudges or anything. So again, I'm just going to pop a little bit. I'm using very, very little glue. You know, this is just a very lightweight piece of cardstock. You don't need to you know douse it you can also use your you know any kind of tape runners but the problem with some of those is it because these have all got bits in them you're going to get all of these little gaps would obviously have the sticky exposed so yeah it would end up maybe like dust and stuff like that would end up settling in it but um do you know i had a thing then i thought i'd done it wrong but 2019 though it's done <laughs> i've got the right order and then that one there again a little bit on the bottom and just make sure they're all lined up, all kind of at the same height. You can see there how quickly that was to stick down. And then these ones here, I'm just going to arrange, like I said, the champagne. I want them coming off because they're going to obviously overhang and stick, you know, stand up even more. I'll do the balloon. I'm just popping a little bit, just on the very middle part of the balloon there, because that's all I'm actually sticking down. I'm leaving the tail loose and the top is all loose because I don't want it sticking. So I've only literally stuck it in that middle bit there. And then I'm going to stick the bottle down first. Again, very, very small amount. Have that on an angle like so. And again, pop a little bit. I've still got a bit there. And then I can just peel this off my hand once I've finished, which I find very satisfying. And pop that one on an angle like so. So if I bring that up there, I've got a tiny bit of glue I can see just on the top of the zero there, which I can rub off. But other than that, that is so shiny with no glue. Okay, so that's a nice quick way to do it. So just pop all this out of the way. Okay, so now what we want to do is turn this over and you're going to run double-sided tape. So I'm going to use my red tape so it's nice and strong. This is the half inch tape, so it will sit perfectly within this half inch um, tab that we've got running here. And then I'll use, where's my little scissors there? Just snip that off at the edge. Go around the other side there. Okay, and then just remove the backing, she says. I've got it, but then sometimes you get right under it. There we go. Now don't fold it over, but don't fold them together. Obviously you don't want these sticking together. They now have to stick over the card. So decide obviously whether you want it that one or that one. I'm not too fussed. This is the, the inside. The score lines need to line up with the top folded part. Again, you're, fold, you're sticking this on the folded side, not on the open side. So this side here, first of all, in fact, if I open it up, I'm gonna do it that way. So this score line here is gonna run along the top of that score line there. So again, very carefully, I'm just gonna tack down. Oh, and it doesn't meet, that's it. I've gotta make sure you wanna have an even overhang as well. So I'm actually looking through the gaps here. If you look through that gap, I can see the top of this you kind of use that as your gauge and then just eyeball make sure you've got an, you know the same overhang on the left and the right there so I'm happy 
and then stick that down like so. Okay, so if I flip that over now, you can see where that's going to go. Okay, and then this one, just fold it down and it will just nicely go on the back there. Okay, then you need to test it and fold it back over on itself like so. And it should all fold flat, which it does. Okay, so you can see now how that's going to work. Now what we need to do is we need to make this nice and strong and you need to give it a nice weight, which is why you want to use the... Um, what do you call it? I'll get there in a minute. The mirrored cardstock. So I've already done this one here and I've put my backing on. So let's take this off here. And then this one will line up with the bottom of that white half inch. So if I line that all down like so. So I just bring that up. You can see now how nice and neat that is. And then bring this one round. And again, I've done my backing on the mirrored, so I'll stick the other one on top in a second. And just line that one up with the white, like so. And then again, stick this one on top. And that one, stick nicely in the middle. And then you also need a piece to go on the back, which I forgot. I always forget to do that piece for my message. And that is this piece here. So you see what I mean? So this mat I went right over but I've actually brought that down but I wanted to try this one lifted up. So there are different ways obviously you can put this together. This white piece is five and a quarter will be fine by three. Okay so that will be to write your message on. But yeah if I just bring that so you can see there the difference. Both both work and both just as nice. Actually also I'm jumping ahead but now that's got a weight so straight away it wants to go that way. So pop it back just to fold that all in but now it stands up and it does it looks so good so now I need to put my message there but you can see with this one it does exactly the same so that one stands up but if I you see it's got more of a triangle here whereas this one they're really close together because obviously we put them over that score line but personally from making both I prefer this one I think this one's stronger and actually works better but then maybe if you want that flat that one looks quite nice with that effect there so yeah that one I've come out maybe an inch rather than going in with them together you can see there you see or that one there they've come out an inch all the same measurements but it's yeah two different ways to do it and the mats and layers are the same as well so it's yeah play around with it but personally I think I prefer this finished look so now I'm going to stick my happy new year down on here and there you go look at that look at the shine and the sparkle and again this one it does it I think it wants to stay in that shape much better if I pop this one up it still works but it kind of moves it always like does a little bounce it still works really really well like I do like both styles but I think technically that one works better and I think what I might do is that's going to go on the front but I'm going to do another strip um, along here of this same paper or I might just do another where's all my um, let me just show you so this is the same length bit of leftover cardstock here and I'm going to cut this see I've gone past the mark isn't it oh actually if I go that way it'd be better so let's just do, this is going to be about three eighths of an inch. I'll cut another one in a minute, but just to show you there, that looks really cool. So let me just stick that one down. So there you go, I've just stuck that with my double sided tape and look how cool that strip looks through the middle now. So I'm going to do another one there off camera. And like I said, you can decorate the backs of these if you want to. But now that stands up really nicely and that's the profile that they see what a cool card now this will look great with any four letter words as well so you could obviously have love you can do more but then you, you, these are going to become thinner so obviously if you double that up and you wanted eight they're going to be very very thin um but you can obviously lengthen your card if you want to do like an eight um you know eight inch card which would look quite cool as well with this style but even with just decorative bits of paper you might have some little animal dyes or all sorts to, to can go on this it's it is it's so so fun but yeah inside out card so oh, let me stick that one on there as well and there's the front like so so that's how they receive it if you want pop a little note in there to say turn this card inside out open it up wow love it <laughs> And like I said, it does look nice like that as well, but 
personally I do think they look much much nicer up like that so there you go two inside out cards hope you like it <laughs> and a happy new year <laughs> although I will say a happy new year again at some point on my channel and on Facebook but I thought I'd put this one out now so you've got a good week still till the end of the year and if you do send these out I know they're not maybe the most popular um, cards that are given out new year cards but I do think it's nice just to you know Maybe there's a particular person that you want to wish a happy new year to. So I know I've got some people that I do. So there are my my ones for this year. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you like this new card style. If you do, please give me a thumbs up as always and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.